What's going on guys, Big VP back with another video in regards to the Game Case Arcades and well, I think we gotta get a couple of things understood about arcades. Again, we're gonna make more videos in regards to this. I'm kinda just breezing through this cause I got time real quick. But the only last thing that some people notice about these arcades is the screen resolution. Screen resolution is, you know, some people understand it, some people don't. Um, Back in the day, especially with like the arcades and the end, you know, the Super Nintendo, you know, it was a four by three resolution. What does that mean? It was basically like a four by three, so it's almost an even square. On an HD TV, on a 1080p TV, if you do a four by three, and I'm gonna show it on the screen right now what the difference looks like, basically you're gonna get the sidebars. So there's three different ways you could set this up. You could set this up to the, the video games, the game's output is always four by three, no matter what, it's always four by three, which means you're always gonna see the sidebars. The other option is to stretch the screen, which is 16 by nine. Basically, you're gonna take that four by three, you're gonna stretch the screen out to give it full resolution, meaning you're gonna give it a full screen setup. Some people like it, some people don't. Why won't you like a 16 by nine? Is because all the games now will look blurry. But you have to remember though, from a four by three to a 16 by nine, you're stretching that screen. So now, like for example, Super, Nintendo, uh, Super Mario, you know, Mario now might look a little bit more pixelated. Yes, that's what it does. You stretching the screen, you're gonna get pixels. A customer said to me, Vic, why is this game blurry? It's because it was stretching it from a four by three to a 16 by nine. The other option is to set the system up to do core. Basically core is whatever the game is set to, it's gonna load that resolution. So for example, right now, um, you know, let's, let's, let's flash, um, we'll flash Pac-Man on the screen. As you can see, the sidebars, Pac-Man was set, let's say, by a four by three. Now let's flash uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, as you can see right here, it's a little bit, it's a little bit there. You still see a little bit of the sideboards, but it's a little bit bigger than a four by three. And lastly, I'm gonna show you a Street Fighter with a 16 by nine. As you can see with the 16 by nine, the Street Fighter, it's, it's, it's stretched. You have a full screen game. To me, I always like my game 16 by nine. You have a 19 inch TV, you might as well utilize the entire thing. Uh, real quick, we're gonna, we're gonna show you like, for example, Game Boy. Game Boy, if you don't touch the configurations, Game Boy is set to four by three, you see a lot of the sidebars. Try to remember that Game Boy was in your hand, it was a tiny square. Now we're gonna set it to 16 by nine. 16 by nine now, you can see it's a big screen. It stretched it, it stretched the game out entirely. So keep that in mind. You let me know if you want me to keep it as core, meaning the system will know what game was set to what and basically your resolutions will go in and out. If you want me to set it to 16 by nine, which I always do, meaning every game will be stretched to 16 by nine, I could do that. Or if you want me to set it to four by three, I could do that. Me personally, I set up my games for 16 by nine. It's kind of pointless when you have a 19 inch screen and you know, to me a 19 inch screen is small, but it's a bar top arcade, it's a small arcade. So I think that it should be stretched. If you want me to change it, you let me know. But that's really it. That's the most common things that people don't really understand. The cabinet, the controller, the bezel, and then finally really the screen resolution. Again, this is gonna conclude another video with Game Case Arcades. We're gonna make more as people you know, give me suggestions, but I'm just making this again because I have customers that say, hey Vic, I think there's something wrong with this, and in reality it is not. But again, any little question, any concern, if you guys need help, feel free to message me. I do help a lot. I had a guy that messaged me, uh, emailed me, and um, he said to me, hey Vic, I can't get a track mode off. I help people, that's what we do. Somebody messaged me about their Arcade Legends thing. I helped to guide them with that. So if you do need help, don't, free, don't be afraid to message me. I'm here to help. Guys, I'll see you on the next one.